everybody. So this is going to be a new type of video for me. Um, if I sound a little wonky, it's because I got food poisoning last night and I am not feeling great. So um, not too long ago, I got an email or a message on um, YouTube from a gal named Sharon. And um, I'll leave all of the pertinent information down below. But she asked if I could do a beadbox review. And of course, I was like, yes so um just got the package i think friday night if i remember correctly but i've been super busy so doing it today so i've got the bag open uh basil come here every time um so i've got the bag open so that you don't have to hear any of that stuff so the first thing i'm seeing is a note so so she's got the boxes in four different styles boho box glam box rockstar box and surprise box so that in and of itself is very different how fun and I'm a glam girl so I would definitely go for the glam box so each box is $34.99 and then I'll put the links down below um, and it's only the subscription, but they can order through her email. All right, and then this is cool. So, let's see here. So, she's including a coupon code for the people that come through my channel for 15% off of your first month. And this is your code right here. And I'll put that down below as well, or you can pause it either way. So, let's see here. Oh, how cool! And then it also comes with a little project. So it comes with, you know, step by step for um, for your project. How fun! I like that. That's different too. Okay, cool. And then you've got this nice um, laminated printout of everything that you get. And this is it's called Urban Glitz Fashions, which. I already love because it has the word glitz in it. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the box. So the first thing that I see is that, let me zoom out a little bit, is this really pretty organza bag, which I always reuse my organza bags. And then you've got her really pretty logo. And this, I think, looks like a, like a little butterfly. Really pretty. So let's take everything out here. It's packaged beautifully, first and foremost. It's, and I'm so sorry for my nails. They're absolutely atrocious right now. So I apologize for that. Basil. Okay, he's fine. All right. So, gosh, I don't want to rip into your logo, though. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it off without. Oh, wait. Oh, I might be able to do it, guys. Okay, it's a little rippy, but not too bad. Um, and it's all packaged in this really pretty goldish um, tissue paper. So, wow. How fun. Okay, okay. Alright, so the first thing is this guy. And wow, that's a large amount. I think it's this one. Yeah, so it's a rope cloth cord snake print in black, four millimeter, and it's six feet of that. I'm going to take it out of the bag so you guys can see it a little bit better. Now, this is something I wouldn't normally use, but it's really cool. It's, um, yeah, it's like lace, and it's nice and sparkly almost. So I'm not sure what's on the inside of it, but it's really cool. And six feet, that's like, that's a large amount, especially for bead boxes. I don't think I've gotten, other than, you know, like regular stringing materials, I haven't gotten this amount of like any cord. So then we've got, which one's which? Hmm. It's 2.5 by 2. Oh, okay. I think it's this one. 
that what it is? Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I believe it is. So this is a faceted jet hematite glass bead. It's 2.5 by 2 millimeters, so rather small, but they, um, they're this gold color. They're really pretty. Very, very cool. So there's that, and it doesn't say how much you get in them, so that would be one thing that I would say. Like, I always love being told, like, how many are in each package, um, just like you did with the six feet of the cord. Um, just because, you know, for people like me who have a business and I put it into inventory, I don't like to count beads because I'm lazy. But it's a, it's a suggestion, so. Um, and then this, oh, these are pretty. These are really pretty. So this is the Solid Faceted Abacus Beads in Baby Blue, 4x3 millimeter. I believe it's this, yeah. Aren't those gorgeous? That is such a pretty color. I love this. Okay, and then we've got the solid faceted abacus beads in gray, three by two millimeter. And those are beautiful too. And they're so teeny tiny, I love it. See, beads like this you can use for um, spacers or just like little accent beads on the top of a dangle. I mean, you could do bead weaving with them. You could do a whole bunch of things. And this is a good amount of beads. Um, I don't know how many are in here, but that's a good amount of beads. It really is. And they're just so pretty. Wow. I can't wait to use those. Okay. And then these ones I thought were super cool. So... These are two-tone faceted glass beads, 16 by 8 millimeter, and I'll take them out because, and I like that everything's packaged in individual little baggies. It reminds me of the um, the dollar bead box that I used to get, and um, they do the same kind of packaging, and I love it. So these are so cool. So they're clear, and then they just have the black tone just throughout the hole, so then you get that kind of funky rockstar kind of feel these are really cool these are going to be really fun to work with not sure what i'll do with them yet but i'll you know what i think i'll probably do a video of like how i used it all so there's a good amount of these too especially how large they are very good amount of those and then there's this which oh my gosh okay so i've seen this in a bunch of different things and i've wanted one because i think they're so beautiful and putting resin into these little um sections i guess um would be really cool so this is awesome and it's a pewter rose charm i think it's just absolutely stunning gorgeous and then there's this guy oh how pretty is this i'm gonna take this one out too oop i skipped one that's all right we'll go back <laughs> So this is a pewter heart charm, and it feels like it's hollow, which is cool because something like this can get so heavy. But it's really, wow, this really detailed. And it's got that antiquing, which I am so in love with right now. I used to, like when I first started out, I was all about shiny silver, and that was it. And then I realized, wow, the antique stuff is so cool. <laughs> Okay, so I missed the silver plated peace charm. So I'm kind of a hippie at spirit with a little bit of like glitz in me. I don't know. I, I'm an odd mixture of things. So this is really cool. And again, you could fill this in with resin as well with uh, different colors, make it kind of like a rainbow thing. That's really cool. Very pretty. Okay, and then. I think it's this one or this one? this one this one so let's see here let's get this bad boy open so this is what is this this is a heart separator let's get this teeny tiny little indented heart isn't that cute very cute. Hmm. 
I might have done the wrong ones because I think, let's see here, three by two. So then we have the heart magnetic closure. Let's open this up, bad boy up and kind of take a gander at what it does. I don't have too many magnetic closures, but let's see here. Oh, oh, cool. So it's not just the magnetic closure. It's got those little, oh, focus. It's got the um, little nubs to go in the hole so that it's extra secure. And this is a strong magnet. Like, that's really cute. Oh, okay, so you can put, so this goes with the, um, the Rockstar Project. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. So you can put that cord in there. I'm gonna guess that you're gonna wanna like glue it or something. Yeah. How fun is that? This is really cool. I don't have anything like this. So I really love that. So then let's see, I've got some stuff that's not listed. Um, I, if something's listed as a purple spacer, so maybe um, in order to, to make sure that nobody gets confused because I'm a ditz and I get blinded by sparkly things, and um, maybe label them with a number. Because um, purple spacers, I'm not sure. See, that's the baby blue, yeah. Hmm. So they, these might be purple spacers, but they don't really look purple to me. But this is definitely a gray color. They're not purple for sure. Yeah. So these might be the gray abacus beads. But I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure. And then this one wasn't listed, but it's just some um, clear cord. I'm not sure if it's a what's it called? Stretchy or not. Yeah, it's a little bit stretchy. It's not like super stretchy, but you get a little bit of bounce in there. Alright. Get in the bag. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Okay. In the bag. In the bag. I don't know how she got it into the bag to begin with. There we go. Alright, this is why I don't do bead that's why I don't offer bead boxes because I just don't have I don't know. I don't have the time and I'm not really good at doing stuff like this, like putting things together. But so let's get everything kind of in the same frame and then we'll go through um, my review of the box. So right off the bat, I have to say, um, that's a lot of beads. And most of the boxes that I've subscribed to in the past, um, especially for bigger beads like this, they, they give you, I don't know, like eight or 10. So stuff like this is really cool. Um, and it's different, it's unique. And I really love that it's, it's so unique. And stuff like this and this, they're all really unique. And I've never seen any clasp like this before. So girl, I don't know where you got it, but it's cool. And this cord is really cool. So everything is really awesome. And I love that you have the themes per box. So I'm going to guess, like, if you pick the Rockstar box, it's always going to have that, like, kind of grungy Rockstar feel to it. And then if you, you know, pick the Glam box, it's probably going to be a lot of bling and things like that. And um, the Boho box is probably going to be, like, you know, kind of um, um, hipsterish. And I'm not using that in a derogatory term. I know people think that hipster is a bad thing. I'm a hipster. There's no shame in my game. So there's that. And then the really cool thing that I haven't seen any other box do is adding a project. That's really, really cool. You know, giving them, giving the people an idea of how to use the products. I've never seen that in a box before. So I really like that. And the, the step-by-steps are really easy to follow and it's you know it's not one of those projects that's like super detailed and difficult that not everybody could do it's a project that it's really cool and fun and funky but it's also simple enough for people to get especially if you're like just starting out that's really good so
So I like that. I do like that you have the list. The list is really cool. The only um, things that I would say is, you know, add a number onto the little um, paper behind each bead so that we know which ones they are. And then also, um, you know, add in an amount, how much they, um, how much, how many beads per thing. So, you know, two-tone faceted glass beads, 16 by eight millimeter, and then put like a dash, 50 beads or whatever. So those are the only things that I would say um, could be improved upon. And those are just like little nitpicky things because I'm particular and I like to know exactly which ones are which. Um, so, and I also like to know how many there are because I don't like counting beads because I have a ridiculous amount of beads and I am so tired of counting. I think I'm just like burnt out on doing inventory from, you know, 20 years back. So yeah, so that is my um, review for Urban Glitz Fashions. And like I said, I'll put the, all of the links down below. And then if you order through me, then you can get this awesome 15% discount, Black Raven 15 off. So don't forget that. And then here's the um, link right here. And I'll put that down below because it's just easier just to click on it. And then it's $34.99 per month, okay? So... It's really cool. Um, I really, really enjoyed this, and there's a good amount of beads, and I'm super excited to work with them and come up with a few really cool projects. And now my body is telling me I need to get back in bed. So thank you guys all for watching. As usual, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you so much to Sharon for letting me do this for you. Um, I think you really are gonna, you're gonna get a lot of subscribers for this because it's so fine-tuned to different types of people. I love it. So um, you might have one in me depending on my financial situation lately. So <laughs> thank you guys so much and thank you again Sharon. You rock. Bye.